what is up you guys it's your girl unique the iconic and welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome 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 you have been missed and if you're a new one definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos so today's video we are going to be achieving this makeup look here this very simple very mindful very cutesy very demure makeup look this is my everyday look this is what i do to just basically achieve this look in general, not too much. I'm not a big fan of like crazy amounts of makeup. I like my makeup to look very much like me, just enhance. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to enhance. Thank you. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> guys let's go ahead and get into the video don't mind my lips i just um used the lip exfoliator on them so they look a little little chop right now a little dry but don't worry we're gonna get them together but let me go ahead and first just put my hair up so it can be kind of like out of the way the first thing that i'm gonna go in with is the milk hydro eye primer i like love this stuff y'all like i know it's a little pricey but like it really does a great job of like holding my um makeup under my eyes because i have like larger eyes and basically with that it just it just means that my makeup is naturally going to crease under my eyes but no worries this kind of really does help like keep it in place you don't need a lot just like put it all under there okay yeah so that's the first step <laughs> then i'm going to go in with the elf this is the power grip primer love this stuff y'all this is a great dupe for the milk hydro grip primer so definitely if you want to save your coin i hope that elf does come out with like a dupe for the milk eye um eye primer because like they will really be in the game so i just mainly apply the high, the grip primer like around my cheeks definitely on my forehead on my nose and just kind of my smell lines where I know that I oil up the most because like I want my makeup to stay there and stay in place. I already did my skincare before this video. Skincare is so important. Even if you don't have like the time to like actually do like a full skincare routine, I always recommend just to get like a cold washcloth or some ice water just to get your face together if you don't have the time to be able to wash your face just just definitely get the water on your face it helps the makeup just i don't know it just does something different to the makeup for me it just it just gives the extra round so after letting the primer sit on my face for about 30 seconds because it doesn't take that long to dry i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty easy drop liquid foundation this is a skin tint i love this stuff a shout out to kira, kira omanique I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Please forgive me, girl. I promise you. Kira. I I'm pretty sure it's Kira. But yes. Shout out to her because she actually put me onto this. And baby, I love this stuff. It literally just looks like skin. It's probably some of the best skin tint that like I've ever used. But I still have a tan on my face from being in Europe and Mykonos and stuff. So I'm going to go in with 18 and 20 mixed together. I'm first going to go in with 18. This is my normal shade that I use. Also, when y'all go in the store, do do not trust like when they be trying to do like the um, color matching thing because on like on the device in Sephora. Because when I went in there and they were like, yeah, your shade's gonna be like 16. That thing had me looking like Casper. I was like, bro, this 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 is not it. This was not my color. I know it was not my color, so but yeah, this one is my typical shade and we work together real well. But I'm going to add a hint of shade number 20 now. Not too much because my skin color has been coming back. So I don't need like a crazy amount. <laughs> yes, y'all. That's my ring song. Can't possible. So I'm going in with the e.l.f. Beauty Blender now. You can literally get this everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. Like, y'all look at that coverage. Look at it. And it just looks like skin. Riri, girl, you really did your big one with this. 
Okay, so after blending out the foundation, I'm now going to go in with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I use the shade Caramel. Y'all, like, I love this concealer. I just can never part ways with it. This will always be a concealer that's going to be in my arsenal. Like, absolutely. So I've, I've been learning not to put really much on my chin. Like a tiny little razzle dazzle. Why I lied. So now I'm going to go with another NARS concealer. This is in the shade um, Maroon Glace. I use this as like a lighter one. I put it like on my nose and sometimes I put it here. I always put it on my nose because I just like my nose to be a little bit brighter than the rest of my face. So yeah, just put a little bit here in the corners just to brighten it up a little bit. Now I'm going to blend it out with the same beauty blender. You should always make sure that your beauty blender is damp. Like, if it's not damp, then your face is just not going to blend properly. Okay, I'm corners, honey. Now I'm going to blend out my nose while I let the under eye kind of sit a little bit before I blend it out. Blending, blending, blending is key, you guys. Blend for your life. Now, whenever I am blending my concealer, I always like to blend it going up like this. It just kind of creates like that natural lift. I'm pretty sure y'all probably seen this a few times on other people's channels, but like I really, really, really do love like this lift effect. Like I can't explain it. Like it just gives it like, it's like a difference. I love it. Can't, like y'all see that? Y'all, do y'all not see that? y'all see the difference like baby she's awake she's up she's ready around <laughs> the same on the other side I will say that the NARS concealer does dry up pretty fast so you don't have to wait too too long when it comes to blending but just make sure you do get over there in time so it don't be having the streaks in your face from the non blending yet Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Liquid Blush. This is in the shade Blush Lily and Pink Lady. When I tell you guys, this blush right here is so pigmented, a little goes such a long way. Like, baby, she be acting like she got a point to prove. Like, rent is due, honey. Like, you guys, little goes a long way. So I'm going to start with the lighter pink first. This is the shade Blush Lily. I'm going to put it like... A good little dot like right there and then I'm gonna go in with the pink lady and put another small dot right next to it literally y'all this blush is so pigmented that's it that literally that's all you need it's literally so I'm taking this little morphe r13 I think this is like a um, I, I don't know what brush this is, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know what brush this is, but just know that I use her to blend the blush out, okay? So I'm just blending like over my cheekbones and going up to match that same like lift motion that we were going for for the concealer. Now, I have not applied the contour yet. It's okay. I am a blush fan, so I don't mind like the blush looking excessive on my face. That's me. That's how I like it. Everyone is to each its own. Y'all see how a little just goes a long way? Like, literally. Goes such a long way. So after blending our blush out, I'm going to go in with the Black Opal Foundation Stick in the shade Karab. These will forever and always be some of the best and expensive contour sticks that you can ever like get. In my opinion, about like under $10 depending on where you're getting them from because they're just, they have always and forever will be that girl. Like they just literally have been that girl. So I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques. This is the tapered cheek brush. This is what I use to blend out my contour. And the reason why I like to do the blush before the contour is because it just blends out better. It doesn't look like a crazy amount of like red just sitting on my cheeks. Cheek, it, cheeks. <laughs> it's actually some contrast. So yeah. 
Blending it out, going a little bit under there. Blending it out on my forehead. And then I like to go with the excess and kind of blend over that concealer line because we don't want any lines, honey. We want to make it, everything to look seamless. We want everything to look very blended. Honey, I'm very mindful with my blend. I'm very demure. And I like the other girls who don't have no blends going on. Thank you. We're very demure. <laughs> okay. There she goes. She's almost finished. So with any excess I have of my cream contour, I like to kind of blend on this neckline because... Baby, we gotta make sure the mech match, okay? Like, I have been struggling, I promise y'all. It is not me, it's the foundation. <laughs> but I have literally been trying to find like a good high-end foundation. And to be honest, I just don't think that there's that many good ones out there for me. Because every single time that I've used like high-end like NARS and Estee Lauder, like I keep getting a great cast. Like, it, it just does not give me what I'm looking for. So... Whenever I was with Maybelline, she never did me wrong. Maybelline always had me together. Fenty Beauty, you always got me together. I love them. But I think I'm just going to stick to my roots and stick to what I know. So, yeah. But yeah. So, for, like I said, we're just blending any of the excess that we have from our contour. And just kind of blending it and making sure everything blends with the neck. Because, honey, we got to make sure our neck is matching. Oh. So now we're going to go in with the black opal stick again. I'm going to use this concealer brush from Wet n Wild. This is my favorite little brush for contouring my nose. We're going to get a good little amount. And we're just going to follow our actual nose. So when I say that, we all have a natural bridge. There are some people that prefer to like make their nose a different shape. There's nothing wrong with that. But to be very honest, it's better to go with the flow than to force it, in my opinion, in my experience when it comes to dealing with makeup. And then you can just gradually start to go in after you've created the shape that follows your actual bridge of your nose. So I am going on the sides, like where you see the line here from your brow that goes to your nose, that's the line that I am following. I don't like to force a shape, like I said, because it just does not look right in my personal opinion on me specifically. But yeah, so like I said, we're following our nose. It's okay if you have a little bit more product than you expected on there, it's fine. So once you've got like that bridge already drawn on, then you can start to go in a little bit more closer to the center of your nose. What this does is basically gives the illusion of your nose being smaller. And then we're going to go ahead and go underneath our little button that we have, if you have one. And then go around this way. Boom. Now we're going to do the same for the other side. We're just literally following the bridge of our nose. And like I said, then you can start to work your way in, which will basically start to give you that illusion of a smaller nose. Set, and we're gonna go into the brows just to give that contrast okay so we're looking okay girl okay girl there we go now the nose is like it's matching so we're not gonna leave our nose like this of course not we're gonna go in with our excess concealer and foundation that's in our beauty blender we're gonna start with the foundation side first and just focus like on the front part of our nose blending it out And then we're going to go with the concealer side and go blend out the nose lightly. I know it looks like I'm beating my face, but I promise y'all it's very, very light. Then I want to go in that line. Look at that. Boom. One side already down. So after that, we're going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup. This is in the Buttercup Light. I barely have anything left in here, but it's all good. She's still going to get the job done. <laughs> But I'm going to use this little small um, triangle puff. I had got this off Amazon. They have so many and these are actually washable. So I promise y'all everything that I use will be located in the description below. 
So I'm going to go back in and blend a little bit under my eye with the concealer side. Make sure there's no creases. And then now I'm going to set. I like to dip into the powder first and then press a little bit of the excess off on a napkin. Also, we're going to try to set on the bridge of our nose. Boom, boom. Go all the way up to the little line we created. And we're going to just lightly press. You don't need to press hard. I know it may look like I'm pressing hard on camera, but I promise y'all I'm not. It's just the way it looks. Let me just say here, bridge on our nose. And then we're going to go on our upper lip and around on our chin. All right, there to get our smile lines. Boom. So after setting my under eye, my chin, and my upper lip, I have not set my nose yet because we're going to go ahead and go in with the powder contour now. I'm using the Juvia's Place, the bronze um, contour. This is in the shade Dark. Baby, Juvia's Place, y'all. I don't know what y'all be putting into y'all products, but baby, I am addicted like crack to it, girl. Yes. But I'm going to go in with these two shades, a little bit of this one, but definitely with mainly this one. Get a good little amount and then we're just going to basically lightly go over our nose with that powder using the same brush we use for our contour. We still want to keep like the contour shape in, on our nose. Now I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier. This is in the translucent powder for my nose. I like to use a lighter um, loose setting powder for like my nose area just to give it an extra pop and then we're going to go back over on the sides of our nose just press it in lightly And now I'm going to go in and use that same Sasha Buttercup and set my forehead. Go over them brows a little bit, honey. You got to set all of that cream and the liquid product. Boom. So after setting my nose and my forehead, now I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC45. I'm sorry, NW45 for my face and then I want to go in with the NC45 for wherever I put like my concealer or just anything light in general. Now I don't know if y'all remember like back in the 2010s and like late 2000s everybody was talking about like yeah your shade is like NW45. Luckily for me that really is my shade. It's always been my shade was NC45. It's, slight, it's slightly a bit darker than my normal color but I'm okay with that because I would prefer it to be that way so like whenever I go on vacation and I get like a tan it always works out in favor now I'm gonna go in with the NC 45 this is the lighter shade here and I'm gonna use this brush from Eco Tools you can literally use like any little cheap brush just kind of like round it like this as you can see here, wait, my eyes are in there any brush like this like I know real techniques has that little pink setting brush it's literally the same thing yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go in and just use some of that powder to press underneath my eye, wherever I set it. Oh, I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. Y'all, like, I'm obsessed. Like, seriously, this is, like, the best thing ever. Shout out to my hairstylist because she actually put me on to this. Like, look at the difference. Let me get y'all, hold on. Let me get y'all in here. Let me reel y'all in real quickly. Y'all see the difference? Side by side. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it is so much of a difference. I feel like it just allows the face to look a little bit more your color, more like more neutral. Not neutral, but like more just it just looks way better. 
in my opinion. But my favorite powders to do this with are MAC powders. I feel like they truly are superior powders in this sense. That's just my opinion. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. Boom. Oh, yeah, girl. There you go. Okay. So now I'm going to go with another MAC Studio Fix powder. This one's super lighter than my color. This is in shade C2. And I just use this to go like underneath my eyes like a little bit to brighten it up because i i do love a brighter under eye I'm not super bright but just something a bit brighter and i don't like can y'all not tell the difference like can y'all like can y'all not looks fire so same for this side i live for a brighter under eye I say I only put this on my under eye only so like I literally go in with like three different bronzers like slash contours I'm gonna go in of course with the Juvia's Place again I like to use the NARS Laguna bronzer in the shade uh, Laguna 6 and then I like to use the Fenty Beauty bronzer as well in the shade Coco Naughty love this stuff y'all love it love it love it so I'm gonna use all three of them for my um, contour on my cheeks Wait a minute. So I'm going to use that exact same brush I used to blend out the cream contour and I'm going to use, I'm just going to literally dip like into like all of them and I'm just going to press the, the contour on. Now you don't have to go crazy hard on this one, I promise you. That powder is very pigmented, very, very, very pigmented. Same for the Laguna, I'm just dipping. <laughs> going here, same on this side. You don't need a lot. Now I'm gonna take that Fenty Beauty bronzer and just bronze my forehead a little bit and make sure everything looks good. And then I wanna go down here with that excess and just once again, blend down on the neck cause we don't like a neck that ain't blended down to our face. Now it's time for our eyebrows. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5 as well as the shade 3.75. I do very, very small strokes when it comes to my brows. I always start like right here and make a straight line from the front of my brow all the way to the middle of my brow. This is in my opinion a great way to kind of just start getting your brows um, shaped together when it comes to dealing with anything, whether it's the cream, liquid, or pencil and so forth on. Then after that, I'm going to just go ahead and start to connect the lines and just basically draw down to follow my shape. Just draw down on my brow hair, literally whatever you see. I've always had naturally thin brows, so it's not really much to go on, <laughs> but it gets the job done. So like I said, we're now just filling in the line, making sure it looks like what we want it to. I'm gonna probably go down a little bit more. You don't need to go too far. And then we're gonna go do the same for the top. Just very small strokes. Now I'm gonna go in with the darker one, the 3.75, and I'm kinda just gonna trace over my brow line that I created. It's okay if you mess up the concealer, it's gonna clean it up. Yep, just to make sure that my brows pop it out. I don't know like if y'all can tell the difference. Now I want to create some small light strokes in front of my brow to give it like that hair-like feeling. And then voila, we have one brow. It is okay if your brows are not matching. Eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins, okay? Now I'm going to go in with the NARS um, con concealer in the shade Caramel. This is the creamy one, the cream pot one. So it's the same exact shade as Caramel for my regular liquid one. And we're going to go in with my concealer brush. I use like three different concealer brushes. It just depends on how I feel. But today I'm just going to go in with the EIG Show eyeshadow brush that I use as a concealer in the E828. I'm just gonna take my time. Mm. 
Once again, we're gonna do small strokes. Literally, you can just do like small back and forth strokes. And for your, what's, for your arch, I'm just following the line and we're just cleaning it up as we go. Now, for my front part of my brow, I don't bring the concealer all the way to the front. I stop kind of like right there at the beginning of the bridge. And then I just blend it out. I'm gonna take this Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush just to blend out the concealer on the brow. I'm using it very, very lightly at the front to blend it into the contour it's okay if you mess up we're gonna go back over it with our contour powder just lightly tapping to get under the brow to make sure it's no excess concealer i'm going to blend it all the way down to the eyelid and then same we're just going to blend this kind of like press this down into the current concealer that we already have now we're going to go back in with that Juvia's palette. We're going to use the light brown here at the top. And we're just going to kind of go back over that where we originally had the contour just to make sure everything's blended as one. And don't worry, go right into the brow if you need be. It just, in my opinion, I love the look that it gives. <laughs> Now I'm gonna take the excess once again from my contour brush and I'm just gonna go over my eyelid so I don't walk around here looking like Casper. <laughs> um, I like to go over my eyes, kind of go over the concealer a little bit on my brow just to make it look more natural. Same for the other side. It's like a very natural, subtle look. Now we're going to go in with blush. I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Blush Volume 4. And I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques Blush Brush. I think they still have this. It's just in a different um, style, like as far as the pink part. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with these both. I, listen, this is my favorite blush of all time. I love these two. They are literally like the best combo. I'm going to go in with the lighter one now and just focus that on the front part where my concealer is. I love blush. Blush loves me. I will never, ever, ever in my life have blush blindness. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. H2O eyeliner. Sorry, y'all. That's my air conditioner. They're trying to make sure I stay cool because I'm so hot. <laughs> But um, I'm going to go in now with the e.l.f. H2O Eyeliner Pencil in Black. It's a waterproof eyeliner pencil. I'm a waterproof fan because my eyes do get watery very fast. But I'm just going to create a small, small line. Like literally start in right there. And just going across like this. That's literally it. I just create like a small line just for the lash to sit on. That's all you need. Literally. I literally got this five pack of lashes from Amazon and it comes with a little carrying case for your lashes. Like one pair of lashes you can get for five. You can get five of those lashes on Amazon for the same price of one literally save your money guys so now i'm gonna go in with some of the best lash glue on the market this is the inv super strong whole eyelash glue y'all listen y'all this glue is the best literally it holds your lashes forever while i let the lashes dry i'm gonna wipe my lips off with my napkin i'm just wiping the makeup off my lips In my opinion, the best way to put lashes on, get you a handheld mirror. Literally, Amazon has so many of these. This is my favorite one of all. 
but get the handheld mirror and look down in it like this and just apply your lash I have to use my hand, y'all. My lash is too sticky. Some people prefer tweezers. Some people prefer their hand. I can do both. Either a tweezer or my hand if I don't have one. And then I'm just putting it on there. Alright. Boom! It's on there. <laughs> Now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara to just push my lashes up and give myself some bottom lashes. Okay, so after applying my mascara, I'm now going to go in with the Laura Geller Drippin' in Gold this was like, this palette is the Illumin, Illuminate, Illuminator palette. I got this years ago when I was working at Ulta. I don't even think she makes this no more. This was like for a Christmas, um, like for Christmas time. I don't know where Laura Gilla is, but baby, when I tell y'all, these are some of the best freaking highlights you can ever get. Like, oh my gosh, I love them. And also I'm going in with the MAC Whisper of Guilt highlighter as well. This is one of my favorite ones too. I'm going to start with this one first and use this like tiny brush from Real Techniques. This is the Essential Crease Brush, but I use it as a highlighting brush. I love highlight. I will never, ever, ever not like overdo it because like you can never have too, too, too much highlight. So yes, there we go. Boom. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go in with the Laura Geller one. I just literally like to dip. And all three of them. These are literally my my favorite freaking highlighters ever. Like I'm so mad. Like they don't really sell her that much in Ulta. It's like so aggravating. But yeah, I don't really put highlight on my cheeks. I would like to focus it really on my nose. Sometimes I put it on my cheeks like to pin the pond like the occasion, but in this case, no. This is literally just something I put on my nose. Okay, so now since my face is pretty much done, I'm going to go ahead and just spray my face and then I want to do my lips last. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is just the regular one. Whenever it's like a winter time or it's not, I'm sorry. Whenever it's like summer, sometimes I use the matte one which is this one. I love this one. This is probably like one of the best matte sprays that I've used besides the one size, but this one right here, baby, ain't gonna get you together. So the first lip one I'm gonna go in with, this is the NYX, yeah, Slide On, Glide On, and this is in the shade Urban Cafe. So I'm an overliner. My lips are already kind of like a little bit big, but I still like to overline my lips because I just love the luscious plumpness that it gives. And the same for the top lip for me. I feel like overlining the key to a good one is just to make sure you follow your natural lips. Like, don't go overboard trying to create another shape. Now I'm going to go in with Max. This is the Plum Lip Liner. And just kind of go in on the inner corners a little bit, fill it out. Now I'm going to go with the Fenty Beauty. This is the Gloss um, Balm Sticks. This is in the shade Blaze Donut. Y'all, Rihanna, Riri, girl, you really be doing your big one because when I tell y'all I am obsessed with these little Gloss Balm Sticks. They're so fire. 
like a little goes such a long way like but yeah baby yeah she bought some mm -hmm. brown so i just put like a tiny bit on as my like base put a little bit on there too okay so this is just to start the base off of my lips i am a pinky new girl i love me a good pinky new hmm. so now i'm gonna go in with the mac cream sheen glass lip gloss this is in the shade partial to pink This nice patting motion. Now we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Sweet Mouth. Um, y'all must thought we were done with the lip combo. No, we were not. We gotta add that final touch, that final razzle dazzle, that final round. Okay. And baby, Fenty Beauty Gloss Balms are the way to go as a final top coat. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's so beautiful. Now we complete. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope you have enjoyed my tutorial on how I achieve my everyday glam. This is my brunch, this is my dinner, this is my club, this is another club, this is my boat, party, whatever you name it, makeup look to go to. This is that girl for me. I am not someone who likes too much makeup. I like my makeup to be just enough. Very mindful, very cutesy, very demure. <laughs> But yes, you guys, also make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also hit that notification bell so y'all can stay tuned for my next videos. Other than that, you guys, I love y'all and I can't wait to see y'all again. Mwah.